Rutke Mods. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 5 of season 2 of my Power PC series. In this episode, we'll be doing an unboxing, a very cool unboxing. In fact, this system right here, I saved a heck of a lot of money on it. Um, in fact, this probably ties for around the second or third best Mac deal I ever made. Um, it's, it's a very, very impressive system um, and what I got it for, what the price was, it's amazing. And the stuff that comes with this system is just the icing on the cake. Um, this system, as a, a clue here, came out at the same time that this uh, gigabit ethernet um, power Mac came out. So that might give you the idea what this is. Because this is a lot smaller than a regular Power Mac, but it is a Power Mac. And if you guys haven't figured it out yet or haven't read the title, um, it's a Power Mac G4 Cube. So, um, yeah. It comes with everything except for the speakers. It comes with the original paperwork and it comes with the power supply, which is, of course, pretty important. And from what I could tell from the pictures, it's in amazing shape. And um, I'd like to personally send a thank you out to Doug, who sold this to me. Um, I found it on a um, private uh, Facebook group for uh, Apple enthusiasts to sell things. And he, he had it for an amazing deal. And uh, he might have been the original owner. Um, but either way, it was a great deal and I'm excited to open it, so let's get to it. It's alive! Okay, so we're getting ready to open this sucker up and of course this is going to be another quick and dirty video, so let's get to it. Cut it here, cut it here. Try to keep it still. It's hard to do this with one hand. I didn't cut it open. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I should do it this time. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So we'll open this up and unveil what's in here. We'll start off with this. The original paperwork. Well, the original guides and software, which is cool. This thing comes with the original cube discs. Pretty neat. Um, it even comes with the hardware test disc. Let's see here. This is version, this would be OS 9.0.4. Pretty cool. All right, so we've got that. And then we have the setup guide and uh, info on this. Very cool stuff. Look at that. That's, that's amazingly exciting there. So anyway, let's get into that. Move all this stuff out of the way. Pull this out, and before we take a look at it, here's the power supply. This uh, power supply is a little dirty, but it looks like it will work great. Uh, it's in very good shape, so I'm excited for that. We'll set that down here, move the box out of the way, and bring out the cube. Mm. It's heavy. I never expected these to be this heavy. Wow. Take a look at that guys. There is no cracks on it. The cracks always form around these rivets right here. There is not one crack here. These are really neat systems. Touch button for power. Wow, take a look at that. And this thing has so many neat features that they uh, never had again in any Mac. Um, 
but we'll go over all this in the video coming up on it so uh, yeah I'm kind of spoiling that for you but um, this system didn't come with any sound ports uh, no cube ever had a sound card or sound ports so you had to use a USB uh, sound card um, basically uh, there was an amplifier in the uh, pro speakers that came with this system it would plug into this USB port so um, what I did is since those uh, speakers are very hard to find I have ordered a USB uh, audio adapter to plug regular speakers into it and also ordered a USB hub because I'll be upgrading this card to this Radon 9000 here uh, which will involve some modifications to get it to fit but um, I figured that it would uh, probably work hopefully it will and uh, that will allow me to have a lot more um, usability in this system so anyway we'll take one more quick look at this wow this thing's pretty darn heavy okay here's the cube so um, I'm going to hook it up and uh, we'll give it its first maiden voyage on this studio display so let's get going okay so I've got it hooked up with the only two connections it needs to be hooked up the ADC connection for the monitor the keyboard and the mouse and uh, the power adapter the only thing I never really liked about this power adapter is it's proprietary and the power brick is about one-third the size of the cube so it kind of cuts down on the smallness of the system um, but um, it's impressive what they fit into this system um, it it's basically a graphite uh, in a very very small package and um, it can use desktop hardware um, so it, that's neat um, right now I've installed an airport card in, into this system uh, so we have some Wi-Fi functionality here um, we'll test the Wi-Fi connection see if that's working and um, well let's give it a shot so I'll flip this around okay. now since this system has no um, sound in it and I don't have the adapter for it yet the only way to really tell this is running is to listen for the hard drive or um, you know when you tap the power button you'll see it glow briefly and then the monitor should kick on from what I've heard I've never turned this on before so I'm not really sure but that's what I've heard that's what I've seen in videos so uh, we'll see if that's true so we'll tap the power button it glowed that's a good sign the monitor did kick on and um, well let's see how it boots up okay it's starting to boot up wow is that quiet It looks like it's booting into Tiger. Yeah, that looks like Tiger. Let's see. Yep, that's definitely Tiger. Okay, so the specs we have on this. This is the top dog, the 450 megahertz. Um, I'll, uh, I'll be eventually upgrading this to at least a dual 500. Um, maybe a dual 450, but w we'll see. Um, I want to put a dual in this these only came with singles um, and a dual will probably need a fan but we can uh, do that too it's got three, 832 megs of RAM in it it's probably been upgraded some uh, let's see what size the hard drive is well first let's go to the displays it's got the original Rage 128 in it and what size is the drive the hard drive looks like it has been upgraded to 100 gig and of course these systems are limited up to 128 gigs 
So um, that's a good size drive. I may not switch that out, though I'm considering putting an SSD in here. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really excited about this, guys. Um, another good deal, another successful uh, unboxing here. You know, this system's going to really, really be fun to play with. So anyway, um, that's the end of this video. Um, this will be in another video very soon. Uh, look out for that. And um, anyway, that's the end of the video. And thank you for watching. This has been a Rutk Mods video. So I forgot to do the Wi-Fi test. Just so you guys can see, the Wi-Fi will probably work. We've got the airport location here. Airport not configured. Open that up. Airport detected. New location. Not location. Airport. Here we go. Alright. Apply. It should bring it up in here. And we'll connect it to my retro router. And let's see what happens. It looks like it's going to work. It is connected to the network. We'll quickly open up Safari. It's not going to really load anything uh, because it's so old. But we'll be able to tell if it's got internet. And so far we don't have internet. It is connected. Yeah, it's connected to the right one. Uh, Google. Yeah, we have internet. The Wi-Fi works, guys. So uh, that's another extremely uh, happy thing there. So anyway, um, so this is the end of the video, of course. And uh, once again, thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video.